It's the 2K Sports pregame show. NBA regular season opener for a couple of teams. Thank you all for tuning in. So happy you're here. I just, I mean, I'm ecstatic that you're here. And I miss I'm, you and too, And Ernie. I'm really happy that Kenny and Shaq are here, I too. I miss you, too, Ernie. Thank yeah, you. me, too. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Los Angeles Lakers. And for Los Angeles, they are hungry for a win here. Last season, they got swept by this team. Four straight losses, something they haven't forgotten. One of the players we'll see tonight, Brandon Ingram, second overall pick in 16, has drawn some comparisons to Kevin Durant, but Kenny, he's still got a ways to go. Yeah, we know it could take a while, but he's, he's going in the right direction. I mean, he's a little undersized in terms of uh, weight, but his ability... That's an interesting way to put it. Yeah, he's yeah. skinny. Okay, he's a little skinny. Thank you, Ernie. Uh, his, his shooting efficiency is a work in progress, but he has the length to impact all areas of the game. That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thanks for like, joining us, everybody. I don't like the word skin. Slender. There he is. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side are analysts Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. From the sideline, we'll have the Hall of Famer David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a bit. It's the Lakers facing the NBA champion Golden State Warriors.
both sides will try and push it on the fast break doors to get easy scores. Talk a bit about playing fast, but also playing with efficiency. Well, you look no further than the Golden State Warriors, who when they are playing with pace and out in transition and the threes are flying, it's electric and frankly almost unstoppable. But they walk that delicate line of playing fast without turning it over. You want to give these great players freedom, but within that freedom, they've got to make sure, okay, we've got to value the basketball, and yes, we can maybe turn it over 10 times per game, but we get north of 10, 15 turnovers, and that's going to put us in a little bit of a problematic situation. Good analysis. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. Taking a look at the Lakers. Rondo and Caldwell Pope in the backcourt. LeBron James is out there with Ingram, and it's McGee in at the center position. And stolen by James. Caldwell Pope outside. McGee inside. Cousins is there. And it's the Warriors ball. Pass to Durant. And no good as it rattles out. Oh, a lapse defensively, and they actually get away with it. Bad idea to leave him open consistently, though. Rondo dishes to McGee. Durant against LeBron. And he makes the bucket through contact and gets the whistle, too. I guess this is superior strength by James. Even when the defense roughs him up, he's more than capable of playing through them. It's amazing. Jordan Bell's checked in for the Warriors. Iguodala comes in for Kevin Durant. And then for Los Angeles, Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Ingram. Josh Hart comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Ball subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Ball kicks to McGee. In the corner, it's James. Rebounded by Bell. Tries to save it. One second left. No good on that one. And the horn signals the end of the first. And uh, not a lot of scoring yet in this one, Clark. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. The arrival, certainly, of Kevin Durant fortified an already great Warriors team. Teammate Steph Curry spoke about what KD brings to the table. It gives us a different dynamic that we can count on. Um, he's obviously an all-world talent that does things on the court that not many people can do. You know, he's hungry, just like the rest of us, to get to that stage again and get back on top. You know, Greg, KD and Steph are a lethal combination for sure, nearly impossible to guard. I mean, both former MVPs, and with the talent surrounding them, a chance to make history. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats-wise? I'll tell you, when you take care of the backboards, good things seem to happen. Well, I think it's been a priority to hit the glass, no doubt, and using their length and athleticism to perfection on the boards. Curry is out there with Livingston, and there's Iguodala. Then there's Bell, and it's Cousins in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. You know, in this era of the Golden State Warriors, it's easy to forget the lean years. Prior to this six-year run, guys, the last time they had made it to the playoffs four consecutive seasons, 1952. Yurepko's checked in for Golden State. Beasley's checked in for Los Angeles. Livingston with it. He's against Kuzma. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes the 13-footer. That one off the back iron and out. And Doris, the Warriors' six-year playoff run tying their record set in the first six years of the franchise's existence. That's when they were playing back in Philadelphia. And just to give you a little more context, only three of those seasons did they have a winning record. Make no mistake, this is the golden era of Warriors basketball. And here's Livingston following Lonzo Ball's three. For the basket, nice shot after missing his first attempt. Well, this guy's so capable of using that handle to get off the dribble drive. How pretty is that move? 
ball. The pass to Kuzma. And Hart has it in the corner. Kuzma with a screen on Iguodala. And Chen shot, and it's Beasley laying it in. Beasley's got the lead up to three now for the Lakers. I'll tell you, this guy does some tough work on the glass. Battles as hard as anybody for those second chance opportunities. Stolen by Ball. Four seconds left. Good D by Bell. I don't think the defense is much of a factor there. He just botches the finish. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Lakers ahead, leading by three. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting and our spacing and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've reached halftime of our first regular season game. I'm swimming. I thought you thought maybe the first half was going swimmingly. <laughs> Bernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet. Deal. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. They had a slight edge on the scoreboard in the second quarter, but only by the slimmest of margins. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, it's always a little bit of a challenge playing on the road, but they came in mentally prepared and physically prepared. The energy in the arena was fierce, but they didn't cave in. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Well, on offense, I'd like to see them play inside out more. Attack the basket, generate easy points. And then once the defense collapses, kick it out to the perimeter for open looks. Trust me, I know. Rick Fox, big shot Bob, that's all we did. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. A lot of guys uh, can take over a game, Doris. At a moment's notice, you snap of your finger. In your mind, who goes that quickly into that zone and takes over like that? Well, I'll tell you this. The guy who comes first to my mind is Clay Thompson. Mm. I mean, what we've seen this guy achieve in a 12-minute quarter and the speed with which the ball from the touch of his fingertips to the release is incredible. Damian Lillard, another guy, doesn't get it off quite as fast as Clay, but can put 20, 30 in a quarter in a heartbeat. Guys like Kyrie Irving, Russell Westbrook, when they start cooking, boy, you better step out that kitchen because you're going to be in trouble, Kevin. You are. <laughs> well said. Starting off the second half, here's Luke Walton's five. Aldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. JaVel McGee is out there with Brandon Ingram. And it's Rondo in at the point guard position. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, of course, there's no shortage of storylines in Los Angeles. Now, last season, some people thought that Lakers coach Luke Walton had lost his players, and the front office seemed slow to come to his defense. Now, Walton was a high-profile hire from Golden State in 2016, and you wonder if the Lakers will remain committed to their young coach if they can't start winning more regularly. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Boy, a kick out's probably a better option when the defense is swarming around like that. And that one's good, Durant. I think unselfish is a word that applies beautifully to Draymond Green. He's so good at sharing the basketball. Now here's Rondo. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. And that one is good. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Curry against Rondo. Outside Curry. Off the left rim and out. Outside Rondo.
can't get it to fall. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Warriors lead by one. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Luke Walton had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Well, he's stressing the importance of chemistry, especially in late game situations. And Kevin, you can tell his players respond to him. He, he's good at bringing everyone together. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Curry and Thompson are the one and the two. Down low, it's Green and Cousins. And it's Igudala in at the three spot. That's the Warriors' five. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaking. I tell you what, it's scary when you think about how much room Ball has to grow when you factor in how efficient he is already. Mm, that will sting a little bit. Failing to get the lead when the opportunity was there. But he does tie it up. And he has the chops for this. Raising the intensity when it matters most. Right. You love the aggressiveness. This guy is willing to take over at the key opportunities. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against Golden State. free throw is good and that narrows the gap to one both good from the line that time you know he doesn't let that opportunity slip by very some big shots at the line pass to Cousins <laughs> fouled in the act of shooting a three point play chance coming up if he's not a sure thing in the paint Cousins is pretty close And that one falls for DeMarcus Cousins. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much riding on. We've got 123 left in the fourth. At the heart. Passes it to Kuzma. Shoots over Cousins. Count it. And the Warrior lead has been cut down to one on the bucket from Kuzma. A steady screen set on that play, and the defense disappears. Nice communication between teammates to make that play work. Stolen by Ball. And here we go. Lobs it up there for Ingram. Ball no good. That's simply not aggressive enough. Needs to show grit and determination and didn't on that one. Here's Cousins. Yes! <laughs> no doubt. You love seeing him knock down the clutch basket. There's 38 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Stevenson outside. Kuzma with a screen on Iguodala. Now the pass to Hart. Ball no good. And an intentional foul right there. And you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Well, to me, the infectiousness with which Draymond Green plays, it impacts everyone around him. I love Sorry. that. And the Warriors making a change here. Durant's checked in. The Lakers also changing it up. JaVale McGee's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. James comes in for Lance Stevenson, and it's Caldwell Pope in for Hart. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Draymond Green. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. 
But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, I listened in on what Luke Walton said to his team. He told him we've got to make the most of every chance right now. This is a winnable game, but we've got to make plays. Guys, we'll see if they can come back. Okay, David, much appreciated. One way Stephen Curry has changed how we think about the NBA game is he's redefined what a quality shot is. The incredible range he has has totally ushered in a new era. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by seven. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And down like this, there's so much to talk about. I don't know if one timeout is going to be enough. I think it's uh, looking pretty bleak. So we see the Warriors get the win here. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.